Welcome back to the Broken Round Table. Oh yeah, see, he did it again. He mm. did it again. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. it's all Gucci That's though. Cool. We, yeah, we explained it in the last yeah. week. Yeah. Thank goodness for last week. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let me redo that actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would do one thing, you know. So yeah, welcome back to the Northern Black Voices. And V. 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 Boys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this week, yeah, as with every week, we got lots to talk about, and so, yes, sir, yeah, the uh, focus of today's conversation will be black inventions. Yes, it's been stewing from last our last conversation, too. Yeah. yeah, but I guess before we get into that, I'm gonna ask a question, which is, okay, what do you guys think freezes faster, cold water or hot water? Would you say hot water? Here, we'll tally everyone's responses before we give the answer away. Oh, shit. Which one freezes faster? Yeah. That's kind of an oxymoron, but obviously, I'll say I'm, I'll say cold water. Cold water? Okay, one hot, one cold. What do we got? I'll go cold. Cold? I, I, <laughs> so, I guess Ukuwalu is correct. I butchered that. Yeah, Kulua. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in my life, I've always known that, like, I was told even from young that like when you heat the water it, it freezes fast. I didn't know the whole reason why. Yeah. Oh. No. But yeah. I was always told that because I used to I used to put warm water in the freezer actually. Okay. I so, still do to this day. So what's up with that? Yeah. So like a guy back in the sixties, um, an African, he was making soft served ice cream, right. and he noticed that when he put warm, when he made ice cream with warm water, it freezed a lot quicker than ice cream made with cold water. Okay. And so then he went to post-secondary school and he right. posed the question in front of his class and he got ridiculed by his teacher and all of his students. Right. And so um, the teacher actually then um, conducted a scientific experiment okay. and in that experiment, the, how do you say the name properly? The Mpemba effect was created at that point. Oh, okay, we'll oh, spell okay. it out for you in the video. And, and this is, this yeah. is the guy who invented ice cream? or No, no, no. no. He just okay. coined the theory, which is hot, the warm, wa hot water freezes a lot quicker than the cold water. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but, I mean, okay. I never would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, most people I would say don't think about that, but, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I was thinking the cold water is already halfway there. <laughs> yeah, I used to think that too. I used to think that too, but like scientifically speaking, um, mm -hmm. hot water the particles are moving at a much faster rate, yeah. right? And so it leads to it cooling a lot faster than yeah. cold water. Got cold it. water isn't moving as much, right? Mm -hmm. From a scientific perspective, and so um, it takes a lot longer for it to freeze. But that makes hold sense. on, but that well does it make sense? Because I would think if it's still, it's easier to to control rather than something that's fast moving. When you think about that logically, but I guess scientifically it's different. So yeah, kind of yeah, like, because think of like if it, if it's hot and then you introduce cold to it. It would react faster. I would. I, I think. Exactly. Yeah. That's, I'm that's, it would react faster. Right. Yeah. Right. Because the cold is more now attacking that heat, and it goes to. I would say yeah. even even with your body temperature, like when I was growing up, again, my mom always say when it's hot outside, drink tea. You know right. what I'm saying? And when you drink tea, your body actually senses that okay, it's too hot. You have to cool down. You know what I mean? I I don't know if that works with that, but I'm just saying it. It, it mm. kind of that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Like right. I know we use um like water and liquids to regulate um body temperature, right? Yeah, 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 too yeah, hot yeah. to go in a tub and shit. But yeah. no, nah, that's um that blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even on that issue. note, uh, yeah. you just raised an interesting point about how, like, yeah, using water to regulate your body. Another right. another question I'm gonna pose to you guys, which yeah, is sure. like, um, there's three things, uh, like, so in ter how long can a human survive without water? Take a random guess. Without water. Without water. I heard 21 days. A month? Okay, yeah, those are pretty good guesses. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I could probably go the same few few weeks as in maybe close to a month. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that. And now, how long can a human survive without food? Oh, yeah. Water. I can go longer, longer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Six months? If you, if you didn't take a lot of water and stuff like that, you probably yeah. can last longer. Yeah, if you stay hydrated, food, right? I'm not stay sure what the exact um, amount of time is, but I know it's longer than a month. Yeah, exactly. There's been studies that say they can last at least three months with right. no, with no, uh, with water, but no food. No solid food. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 
And that's now, what, and that's what that fasting shit for me. That fasting should be hard as a motherfucker, man. Why? Why is that? Because I, I'm, I'm used to eating food, man. Like, yeah, like yeah. when someone says, "Hey, go on a water fast," I just think, "Yo, you, you want me to die like tomorrow?" Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, it's I hard. It, it's a mental. I know it can be done. Yeah, I just did four days. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no yeah, food or yeah. water, or just, just no food, just, just, uh, water. just, just water, just tea. Okay, just okay. water. No liquids, like you liquids, said, like yeah. Yeah. no. So when herbal teas and, and, and water. Oh, okay, herbal yeah. teas. Okay. okay, yes, sir. And I guess the last thing I'm gonna mention, which is like, how how long can you go without air? Monday, like seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, not seconds. I'd say three minutes, four minutes. Yeah, without air. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you die in seconds to me, man. So, <laughs> like, to go back to your point about how we use water to regulate the body, right? Um, I'm, I'm trying to tie this all back in, and so, generally speaking, the population knows more about food and water and nothing about air. Right. We can go months mm -hmm. without food and water, okay. but think about how long you can go without air. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and like, just most of us don't really take this in. Right. Yes. And so. Um, not only does water help regulate the body, I, I bring this point up because also mastering the breath. Right. Uh, yeah. That is essential you see, to yeah. survive. You see, now, Absolutely. Now, that's beautiful to our topics because I was going to say, now that we have all these inventions that were created from us itself, yeah. we don't even need to think of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. We do. Like, I would say on the, like, um, studies show that the general populace, 80% of the world generally breathes through their mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah. But yeah. our ancient ancestors, they knew that it's in a human's best interest to breathe through the nose. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so, like, I would say for myself, I'm trying to adjust my breathing. Mm -hmm. Whenever I catch myself breathing through my mouth, I try to re regulate and try to, and like, reroute the air right. through my nose. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, like, yeah, you're, Ukuwalu just made a point that. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, um, like, just because there's a bunch of inventions out there in the populace exactly. that we're all going to know about it. Yeah. Right. And, like, that isn't the case. Yeah. You yeah. know, I'd say a lot of information, like, it, yeah, it's, it ends I know, up in the hands of... I know that if you're an athlete, like, um, like a long-distance runner, they tell you um, um, to... Like, it's tough, though, because I jog in the spring, summertime. Yeah. And it's something you have to practice because... It's hard to, to get used to the breathing, breathing through the nose yeah, while you're yes, doing like yeah, a, yeah. Um, physical activity. Physical activity. Yeah. Um, cause it's tough. Because the scientific reason is because you can capture more air through your nasal cavity exactly. than your mouth, right? Yeah. And as your nasal and cavity warms goes it up to also. your... Yeah. Oh. Your nasal... Your nasal... Na <laughs> nasal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your nasal cavity warms the air up also. Plus, right. your nose... Your, your nasal hair is there to capture any... Exactly. Oh, okay. Bacteria. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. They, uh, it filters the ear and warms. Exactly. That's, right. That was the point I was going to make, which yeah. is breathing through the nose acts as a form of filtration. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Protection. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a good start. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Ready to go. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess back to the topic. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that was right. So, on topic. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Was no, no, that was good. So today it's all about black inventions and black inventors, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah so we're continuing yes. with the Black History theme, Black History Month theme. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. And just yes. a correction I wanted to make on last week, yeah. you know, like yeah. I actually did some research to find out the origins of black history and like, I guess last week it kind of, we kind of had a mishap. Right. And so like, yeah, I just want to clarify for the record, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carter G. Woodson, uh, he was instrumental in creating black history. Mm -hmm. um, he initially started with black history week. Right. Mm -hmm. And yes. he chose the second week of February. That's because, right. Um, Abraham, yeah, yeah, yeah it, Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln and yeah. Frederick Douglass both yeah. were, um, th their lives were celebrated a lot by the blacks in America, right? And so he thought that um, by picking this this ah, time yeah, in February, right. oh, so, okay. it just, so it's like a good commemoration of yes. exactly of oh, okay. like the first two. Um, Our people are already celebrating like that time, yeah, so he like, thought, yeah. why not just add some education in there? Gotcha. Um, okay. You know, and like, yeah, I guess like another point I want to add is like. In doing more research, uh, Milton Freeman, or not Milton Freeman, um, Morgan Freeman, sorry. Right. Uh, he, he made the point that it's not just Black History Month, um, or we shouldn't just consider Black History Month. We should realize that American history is Black history. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, all right. You know, and like, it's more than a month. Yeah. 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 yeah I think it's, it, our role is to try to get Black people to understand that and to mm -hmm. know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
American history is black. History. Because I mean, there's so much to learn. Even even with the research that you've done on this black inventors, yeah. there's so much. There's so many inventors. Where it's like, how could you only celebrate a month? You know yes. what I mean? Like right. with the the knowledge that there's out yes. there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I would I would go as far as to say world history is black. History. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And based on some of the stuff I'm gonna bring today, just a couple of them, we're gonna. That's exactly my angle. Yeah. Okay. So I'm then. glad mm -hmm. that you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Man. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get into it. Who yeah. wants to go first? What y'all got, man? All right. So I'll I'll just do one. I guess we just yeah. go around and yeah. Yeah. just keep it going that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right. I, I, I brought the round table. I, I, yeah. Yes, I, I feel like um, <laughs> there we I go. feel like I might have uh, <laughs> I might have went this. further back than you guys. That's why I kind of want to go with the no man. But no, <laughs> yeah, let's go far back. back. It does um, go. Yeah. My aim was to go as far back as possible, looking at black. If you're gonna throw it back. I might have to throw it back too. That's good. That's good. Let's go. Because we're gonna see exactly what I said earlier. World history is black history. So my first um. Uh, black invention I would mention is the Ishango bone. I don't know if you guys know about that. No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, so the Ishango bone is a, a bone that was found in the Congo in 1950. Um, and even to this day, it's known as the oldest mathematical device ever found. Mm. But how was it used as a device? What do you mean? Well, that's Listen. the thing. They don't, they don't fully understand it as yet, and they mm. don't fully understand how it was used as oh, yet. Okay. Um, but it is noted and deemed the oldest mathematical device. It's it's like a, a long piece of bone with a, a jewel at the end of it and it's got like notches in it kind of like it looks like it was used as a measuring device. Mm. But they they uh, they can't confirm or yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so that would be my first um I mean it doesn't really go it, it goes with black inventors in the, in a sense that it this, was invented this, for it was yeah right? it was so. it was it's an ancient um, measuring device yeah, or yeah, mathematical yeah, yeah. device, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and although they don't know much about it, the one thing they do know is that it was African. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> now that makes a lot of sense, yeah. right? And it was found in the. It was found in the Congo. In the Congo. Yeah. Okay. I would like to see that because there's, there's many ideas that you can bring up to see why that would or what they made. What it was, yeah, what the, um, what's the time period? Did you mention that? That or it was found? The 50s. 1950s. Yeah. Oh, 1950. Not that, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's not, not that long. You said you were doing it back. <laughs> no, but the, no, but the, the artifact. The, the, the art, it's an artifact. That's right. been for it's, like it's much back, older. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. It's, it's, gotcha. Dated, it's, it's, the, it's the oldest dated device, mathematical mm -hmm. device. And do but they phone. give a date, like uh, an age they, to it, or no? They don't give a, no, there's no problem. Because no, no, yeah. no like they, like, they don't even know what it was used for. They just found yeah. it. They just yeah, know yeah. it was some kind of... So yeah. They just know it's old they know, shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, like the Congo is a civilization that mm -hmm. they presume it's from. Um, no. no. Well, it's that's the geographical area, area that it was that found. found. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah they, this was the Belgium... I think was was well Belgium colonized the Congo um, even even before the 1950s mm -hmm. um, because remember Leopold was just, Leopold is the Congo's Hitler I don't know if you guys know that mm -hmm. um, Leopold, King Leopold I think the second um, ruled Belgium invaded Congo uh, he's responsible for like 15 million deaths amputation yeah. he's responsible for the genocide in the Congo mm -hmm. um, when okay. uh, they were pushing the mining yeah right? Mm -hmm. right, so right, right. Um, that's one of the things I think black people should remember when Jews start telling their story like hold on their stories came three in. million and you yeah, died exactly. and we, we were sympathetic but 15 million Congo <laughs> Congolese <laughs> died right during yeah. during Leopold's rule and we can't say shit about it that, that, so you bring up a very good point, which is um, a lot of people don't know in the early 1900s, um, Africa was divided by Europeans, you know, so Belgium got Congo, Ghana was given to, to England, France went to Ivory Coast, like just yes. Africa was carved and given to seven Europe European countries. Right. Yes. And so that's, so in the early 1900s, a kind of like shadow, like there was, so a it was World War One before yeah. World War One. Yes. Right. Yeah, there you know, was more people died uh, with these early invasions than, right. uh, and no one, no one ever talks no one about talks it. About yeah. it. Yeah. We're told they to only forget made about their own history for the times and, they yeah. wanted to remember. Yeah. 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 Everyone else could milk their atrocities, but 
you know, we can't talk mm -hmm. about ours. And don't get it, like atrocities are atrocities. Our yeah. point here is that, um, you know, we've, I don't want to say we've been through worse, but our people have suffered um, quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. we um, have suffered. No, time and time again. Say worse. We all, all, all the evidence that they've shown seems we have suffered worse. Well, yeah, I mean, so. yeah, I guess yeah. you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's right? not, yeah, it's not to deny anyone else's cry for, it's just facts. Um, you know, reparations or whatever that, whatever they're crying for. Right. It's just when people tell us that, you know, that's old or slavery is done and all yeah. that nonsense. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what pisses yeah, me yeah. off because yeah. people don't even know this stuff. Exactly. And it's easy to go look up. Go look and, up. And, 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 and the more you, you try to find out what, again, they always cover it up and they kind of whitewash it. They show different faces to it. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you don't, right, right. You don't actually know the actual history of your own, right? So. Mm -hmm. And even just on that note about Congo, like, a lot of you guys don't know, but there's two metals that come out of Congo, which is coltan and cobalt. Okay. Both those metals, um, if those metals are in every electronic device. If you take an airplane, if you want to use your cell phone, mm -hmm. all of these metals come from the Congo. Mm -hmm. So just to further his point, like Congo is in disarray currently, and it's because like we get these cheap goods. Mm -hmm. If right. Congo got their act together, the whole world would have to pay you know, a pretty good penny to use your cell phone, yeah. hop on in an electric car, right? To take a flight across the world. Like all airplanes are, the, the minerals that the airplanes use are the minerals that are in your cell phone mm -hmm. or, or any, all, or any electronic out. device. It all comes from the Congo. Yeah. You know, we, we're going to have to do um, like a, a topic on the development of yes. Africa. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Like the, I think it's well known. Um, like the pillaging that went on with Africa is it well known? I don't think no. it's well known. No, I don't think it's well known. I I think I think the reason they avoid any reparation talk when it comes to black people or even Africans, well, black people, um, is because exactly that. Do you know how much they would have to pay? Because yeah. yeah. Americans, when they talk about reparations, they talk they measure the time of slavery, slavery. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and you know everything that. But our talk. history dates. But the <laughs> shit goes so far back, back that. The world would owe us everything and have nothing left for themselves. Yeah, you can't put a you can't put a price to it. Yeah, exactly. exactly, they have they have to avoid any talk of reparations when it comes to black people. But they could give to whoever else. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I'm happy you brought that up because like that kind of leads me into my the person I want to speak about. Yeah. Okay. Her name is uh her name's Gladie West. Gladie West. Okay. For those of you who don't know, she made GPS. So okay. she created oh, yes. the formula GPS. for yeah. GPS. Yes. yes. You know she's alive. She's living today. She's 91 years old. Okay. In, in the 50s, she was um, one of four black employees to work for the Navy Department yes, in the U.S. Too. government. Right. And so, um, yeah, there she developed um, a mathematical equation that led to the formulation of GPS, mm -hmm. what we all use in our cell phones so today. Right. You know, okay. and so like if you check her net worth. Um, yeah, she has less than $5 million. Meanwhile, every single day we use her technology. She, yeah. Did she patent it too? Or, or was it no, she, she... she's just... Her employer... Took it. Yeah, her right. employer took her... Just she was not recognized for her work. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know? as, as most of yeah, exactly. exactly. So, yeah, she created the mathematical equation behind GPS. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so they patented her ideas. Right. They didn't allow her to like have upward mobility. Like most people who work for corporations get to like travel, fly mm -hmm. around, go to different places. But being black in America and especially female, like right, yeah, 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 yeah. it's just yeah, those opportunities wouldn't come your way. So I like to shout out Gladie West for giving us the technology that we have today because yeah. like a lot There's of us should be thankful. It's There's funny. Um, it's funny you mentioned that because there's. In case anybody d don't know, we're probably not going to talk about it now, but there's a meaning behind that B there, right? Mm -hmm. um, there is a reason why we chose that B um, mm -hmm. to represent who we are, and it actually goes hand in hand with what we're talking about right now, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, all the stuff we're talking about today is all of the stuff that black people invented mm -hmm. yeah. that the entire world uses, and they might not even know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and still to this exactly. day, they... People don't, yeah, exactly. no, no one we, gets recognition. Yeah. Or the right people don't. Mm. Right, and like I use, I think I use, did I use GPS? I think I use GPS today. Yeah, yeah. yeah you use, you use it every day. Yeah, yeah, every day. 
Like, that shit don't shut off either, man. Right. <laughs> and, 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 like, you turn like, it off, it don't shut off. Yeah. Exactly. Like now our superiors are these tech companies that they want to always track our location. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like exactly. for them to know your location, they're using GPS. Right. You know, and so mm -hmm. like just the equation she created helped pave the way for the, all these other people to, right. to prosper and benefit. And now they can sell you phones with your GPS coordinates and, and she gets nothing from it. Yeah. yeah. Cars, she doesn't get any, damn. Damn, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> damn, even our watches have GPS now. I'm telling shit. you, everything yeah. does, man. They can try I help to talk with her. Yeah, man, yeah. she's 91 yeah. years old and she's alive. Yeah. She's got this, like, oh, man. Yeah. See how she feels. Where, where, where is she like, resides? Like, do you know? Like, in America. She's, she's uh, somewhere somewhere somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. No, that was a good yeah, one. That was, good. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Because that's one of them that I didn't know myself. Right? Gladie Mae West. Gladie Mae West. Yeah. Gladie And, like, I have a little spiel here, which was, like, Towards the end of her career, which is like, um, she was uh, she was inducted to the United States Air Force Hall of Fame in 2018. Right. West was also awarded the Webby Lifetime Achievement Award at tw the 25th Annual Webby Awards for the development of the satellite um, geodesy model. Okay. And and yeah, it just shows like her story. Her story is not isolated. Right. A lot of people that we're going to bring up, they have a similar story, which is they created stuff and they weren't mm -hmm. recognized for their creation. Well, you know? she, got she, the Nobel, she got the Nobel Peace Prize. No, please. <laughs> no, but yeah, this stuff don't uh, she, got, um, she was inducted to the... Oh, the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I was going to go on a rant, after, <laughs> but I'm not going to bother anymore. But I remember in one of our previous um, conversations, we talked about this where it's like... Um, we just get we just get thank yous sometimes yeah. and, and the stuff that matters the stuff that we need we never get like yeah. what's the what's her being in all in the hall of fame supposed to do for her yeah when <laughs> she's not getting any any sort of comp compensation exactly. so they could easily sit back and say well we recognized her for her for her. but they, they're making all the money off of something that all right here's, here's, my, here's my here's my <laughs> devil's advocate yeah. well, no no fuck the devil's advocate here's my argument towards that mm -hmm. um so like kwaku said she um she created the mathematical equation mm -hmm. that led to all of the stuff we have here so in their defense they're like no, we took what you did and we made it 20 times better. Yeah. And? The fact is that without yeah, her, without, without, without her, 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 she was still going to be able to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 1% yeah. cut back. <laughs> what are you talking about? Which, which white person started anything and, 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 and the, a company took it and they never got anything? Yeah, yeah. Like, that doesn't happen to anyone else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Specific. So you're saying that's not a good defense? No, hell no. I bet. No. No. <laughs> they built on top of something she created. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, yeah, was yeah. I was trying to put yeah, 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 sparks yeah. and fire. I like, I my, 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 my laptop, but I had I had a couple notes on because even you speaking on that, talking about the internet itself. What, what what's the guy's name who created the the Nigerian guy, Philippe Philippe or Philip? Yeah, Philip and Emu God. I I can't even pronounce his name. Last name. Come on, man. I you can't talk about somebody I was trying to look oh, for him. I couldn't get his name. I couldn't remember his name. Right. Imagwali? Yeah. Yeah. Imagwali or something right, like that? Right, right. Who that? He was the guy who he made, was it the supercomputer or, or, or what, what it was? He's a Nigerian it? computer scientist. Scientist, yeah. right? Yeah. I think he created And he got a Nobel Prize for... Yeah, he got a Nobel Prize yeah. for a high-performing computer application. Yes. Right, but my question to that, again, is even though you get these things, where do you go with that? Like, like, how far does that take you? Because I mean, them, my, my son got a Nobel Prize, son. Like, <laughs> See, I, I don't understand the question. Though. No, how but okay, he got the Nobel. What, yeah, when he as he got the Nobel Prize. Okay, well, my question to the Felipe is like, when he won this Nobel Prize, where did it take him after all that? Oh, it's just what we, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um. You don't think he got the recognition that he deserved? I don't. Believe I mean, a Nobel Prize is a big thing, that. right? Yeah. Well, I would say, like, if you speak to Philip himself, right, he he believes he created the internet, right. Mm -hmm. But or, but if you speak to outsiders, they would mm -hmm. tell you otherwise. Okay. So that's okay. where okay. I would say that's the his beef and lies. That's yeah. okay. If you look up inventor of the internet, you're gonna see two different. You're not gonna see. You're not gonna see him. Mm -hmm. But that's what he claims. He believes. Um, his, his software. Was, actually, yeah, his software was the formation of the the right. computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, 
opinion or perspective. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, that's um, another good one. Who we got? Who got? Who's next? I'll, I'll do. I'll do. A, I'll. I'll go into another little thing here. Um, <laughs> so I want to bring up Pythagoras. Oh, <laughs> this guy's going. <laughs> I told you, this, those are bad. This guy's going. <laughs> this guy's going way bad. The are you talking about the Pythagorean uh, well, theorem? The, re <laughs> the reason I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up Pythagoras is because he's the father of Western um, philosophy, right? right? And he does lend to mathematics. Yeah, right. He did philosophy also and right. mathematics. Um, but but looking looking at him and looking at at everything that he believed, um, and and the fact that through him, well, the re indirectly, uh, he's indirectly responsible, like the father of Western civilizations, because you had Plato and Aristotle that follow him, yeah, and they're really the ones that are, yeah. did did most of the work when it comes to Western civilizations. Right. Um, although they do credit him for most most of their findings and, and beliefs. Um, but he's the per he's the one. Um, I don't know how much you know about him, but he he took on vegan vegeta vegetarianism, right? And he was the one that introduced. They say introduced the idea of um, reincarnation. Mm, okay. Right? okay. Um, so they, if you if you look it up. They're going to say that they're not really sure where his influences are from. Right? Right. Of course, they'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Said that about Aristotle, but, Plato, Socrates, exactly. Herodotus. Well, they say Plato's and Aristotle. Um, they got from their they, father. They are heavily influenced by, by, the, by Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Yeah. But they they're they're very iffy when they talk about his Pythagoras's influences. influences. Mm -hmm. right. But I would like to argue that because if you look at his beliefs. Reincarnation, one of them. Um, there's another one, uh, and and the whole the veganism thing because veganism or vegetarianism actually got popular in the 19 uh, 1900s and the 2000s. Uh, sorry, 19th and 20th centuries. Right. But if it's his influence that I would like to argue because I believe that even him, he he is a creation of, of Blacks, he's another like if we were, if we're since we're talking inventions, black inventions. I think Pythagoras is a black, black invention in in some way. He's a since black invention. He's a black invention. He's a black invention. Okay. In some way, because he learned from blacks, because there's no European okay. Okay. that actually had this knowledge, had any knowledge of reincarnation in the first place. Yeah. It's only black people that believed in reincarnation, and I know this. From my tribal knowledge, from everything I know from tribes, because okay. reincarn the idea of reincarnation. If you look it up, they'll say it dates back to ancient India, right? Mm. Right, and then they they say there's there's like they also say the same thing about um, vegetarianism, but then when when they speak about vegetarianism coming from India and reincarnation coming out of India, they also say that small groups in in uh, in Greek settlements practiced. Um, Vegetarianism also, and um, these and even uh, Pythagoras went to Italy, and he had a bunch of followers, and they they because they're following him, and there was a lot of secrecy involved, but they practiced vegetarianism, and they had the idea of reincarnation, and the only group of people on Earth at that time that believed anything about re that know anything about reincarnation were black people. It, it would that go as far back as uh, as with the Twat people or the people like the first yeah. people that yeah. said that was on yeah. Earth, right? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I was gonna say with them, it's just from what their practices were as they were on the land. Yeah. Remember, eating, remember right? these people adored Africa. Yeah. Like they learned every like Pythagoras himself. They, a lot of the stuff that they learned, where, where else are they gonna learn from? Yeah. <laughs> from themselves, <laughs> they learned from blacks. Right, so my argument is that the the the, the influence for Western um, philosophy right. is actually black. No, I get that. By by, <laughs> As by. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry to put that over in a much smoother way, but mm. <laughs> um, um, yeah. and, and you can look it up and you can draw conclusions, and I think that you're going to see pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
if you just pay attention. I like how you said you use an invention because when you said inventor, I was thinking to myself, like, I mean, but yeah, okay. when it comes to veganism or whatever, how do we call it? Veganism or? But yeah, well, they, they, say, but they say vegetarianism. Vegetarianism or whatever. I'm mm-hmm. saying that still goes back to where, that's why I brought the twat people. It's like, mm-hmm. like, we were more, we ate more healthier before yeah. and then it got abused as. No, yeah. So went, we, right? we, we started it. eating meat largely because yes. of Europeans. But that's that's like, what I mean. Like, we were abu- when I say abused, I'm saying it was brought into our yeah yeah culture was, or other yeah, means, right? Yeah. So. Right. It was far and wide that, that I'm not saying we never ate meat. It was yeah. it was far and wide, and it was not very often. And I, yeah, I had a, I had an argument with my brother about that same thing when he was talking about how we used to eat meat back. Like when you look at mm-hmm. the tribes that they have goats or the cows or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I said, but if you look at it, they don't consume meat every day. It's yeah. like, I guess on like special occasions or whatever they're celebrating or whatever it was for. Oh, I'll give you an example. when they would, right? Okay. I'll give you an example. Um, it, because they're, and we'll get into talking about rituals and spirituality mm-hmm. in, in a different episode. And I have a lot to say on that. Yeah. Um, and I even have books to, to, to recommend that people read when yeah. you want to know more. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Um, but I say we ate meat far and far and um, like, Far apart because it's only during certain rituals when you like if they do an you animal sacrifice for example like, like they sacrifice a chicken through whatever ritual like and you have not every ritual you there are animal sacrifices but right. the ones that are um, some you're able to eat the meat after and some you can't eat the meat after right mm. so depending on what they do with depending them. on what the ritual is okay. for. If it's like uh, you know to keep death away from someone else, so you put it on the animal instead. Right. Uh, mm. They don't eat that meat. They can't. Okay. Uh, but if it's something else, um, then, I, I can't give you a right, proper example right now. But yeah, yeah. Some meat you could eat. Uh, the majority of the ritual meat you can't eat. Right. Okay. Gotcha. And that's the only time they eat meat. Right. Okay. Okay. Some special happen or um, for some. Yeah. Um, ritualistic or, purpose. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and today we eat meat like every day. Every when was the last day. time you ate meat, man? Maybe. Yes, you meat. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe yesterday. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I kind of <laughs> fell behind, man. It was it, the last. I wouldn't say this last month was hard for me, man. Right. And preparing food and stuff like that. Yeah, so I dibbled and dabbled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Falling back on my chemo, I gotta get back on my on like getting better, eating better, right? So. Yes, at one point, I did knock out rice for like three months. And then I just kind of like, I was subjected with me on the road. Right. I was hungry and I didn't want McDonald's and this and that. So I was like, all right. Man, yo, they ain't paying us. You know what I'm saying? So I did. I did. I did. Let me say that name on here. Oh, let me add something. Pythagoras believed in immortality, reincarnation, and vegetarianism. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I believe all three of those things he got from black people. I forgot the immortality. Mm-hmm. Uh, and only black people reincarnate, by the way. He is. We'll black talk about too. that at a later time. Right? Who? Like I know? Yeah. No. No. No, he's a white man. He's a white man. Yeah, they oh, wouldn't they wouldn't put him at that I didn't high know. of a position <laughs> that. Are you kidding me? The father of Western philosophy yeah, is know. black? You crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see that day. You mm-hmm. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, that was a good one. I like that one. Um it's because when I was in high school, like one of my favorite subjects was um was philosophy, so I learned about that dude, mm-hmm. um you know the Socrates, the Plato's, and mm-hmm. and, and everybody else, um and you know that, that's that's something I know it's a theory of yours, mm-hmm. um yes. I'm not sure what the based on what you read um you mm-hmm. drew that conclusion, but yeah. it's always good to that's what the benefit of reading is right yeah um, yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah we can help prove it right now <laughs> <laughs> what vegetables grow in Europe <laughs> yeah they don't. That, that, yeah. How can someone who's practicing veganism, uh, where their country doesn't, their the yeah, the environment doesn't produce plants right. exactly. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah, Think that's about what slavery was all about. Exactly. <laughs> look, I, I, that's why, I, that's why I apologize for not putting it on property, right? <laughs> like, right? right, because I'm, 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 I came to the conclusion not with everything I just said. There's a lot more behind. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like I have a lot more information in my head than I said, but. 
But you're right. Like, yeah. There's a lot more that goes into it that can prove that he actually learned from that. Right. Like reincarnation in itself. There's no there's no civilized no. European that ever had the idea of reincarnation. Exactly. It's like ancient black cultures. If you study like Indo-European societies, you'll find out they didn't bury their dead. They just yes. left them outside. Right. Right. You know, and like it was in studying African history, like right. mainly yeah, the yeah, Egyptians yeah. seeing yeah. tombs. Yeah. And how like royalty was buried and sacrificed. Right. Yes. That's how they adopted the custom. And that's how yeah. sickness played. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So and see, and that comes back to my original point. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. B. We'll discuss it. Um, maybe we'll discuss. We we'll bring it up at the end. We're yeah. done, right? So there's a reason for that. B. And um, it encapsulates everything that we're saying right now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. in terms of where the world would be or wouldn't be without, um, without the, mm -hmm. the black and African contribution. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. man, yo, well, let's keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah. Got I, I think you got, you got a couple more. I guess well, on that note, like, do I don't got? like the word black. <laughs> You don't like the word black? Yeah. Well, you remember I told you, you know the last one is black is an attitude. Not My nigga, you see your skin? Yeah. No, I don't My like the word black. black is an and attitude. I'm gonna give you the reason why. Like, I bet. it means that you lack. It's in the word. Okay. You know, and like, so you be lacking? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you be lacking. And so, so that's why I don't like the word black. Wait, what would you prefer? Onyx? No, I don't like the word colored either. <laughs> okay, okay. When you're referring to a person. The, like, like when you're referring to, to, to people, people like us, people like us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, All right. like Indigenous. exactly. Like I think there's better words to describe black. Well, of course, you mean black pe people of African origin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So just say originals. From now on, we are we the originals. <laughs> Let's yeah, go. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're the northern original voices. <laughs> 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 no, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. Um, because. When you think of the, have you ever seen a black person? This is black, right? I know people exist that have this color. Do they? I don't know. That comes um, close to it. But a couple. Right? Talking about the color. A couple. Yeah. Not many, but there's some. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying because you know it's, it's a term that was invented to describe people that were darker, that had melanin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That were darker than um, yeah. the Europeans or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I get what you're saying, but I think I don't have a problem with the word black. Um, it's in our name, but <laughs> um, people identify us as that, and I feel like by using that word with ourselves, we don't have to. It it's a good I don't know. It's an identifier that we can I don't know. You like, see, we can bond around. Like uh, yeah, we 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 I actually like it. Like it. You know, you know why friends. I like it? I like it because black is primordial. Black is it, the, the the color black. The mm -hmm. color black is actually primary. Yeah, primary. doesn't everything it's, come from it, black? Everything yeah, comes, that's Every color black, comes right. out of it. Um, it's, I, people argue this all the time. Light, maybe not all the time, but <laughs> light and dark. Light, lightness and darkness. Right. Do you know that if there was no darkness, you couldn't possibly see light? No. Yeah, of course. Right? No. Light travels like... on darkness. So a lot of people say, you know, if you, if you turn... If you turn uh was if you turn the light on, where does the darkness go? Or some yeah. shit like that. Right. Right? It's right there. It's yeah, just it's that light there. light needs darkness just like um sun needs air to travel, light needs darkness to travel. And I find I find in the dark your eyes adjust more. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can. I find like you can see like, right? what? Especially, especially with the moon, like, with the moon. Like, I was gonna like, I was gonna say I'm waiting for with the moon. Right? Right? Yeah. I was going with the moon. Right? <laughs> I was gonna say I find like your eyes adjust more at nighttime. Right? That that's where I was going with that. Not not as in black. Right. Well, okay. Right? So, so without with nighttime, without the guiding light, yes, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Our, as human beings, we like the body's amazing in what it does, right? So mm -hmm. it adjusts. Humans adjust to different climates, different um, shades of darkness and whatnot mm -hmm. so um i get what you're saying yeah um but to come back to my point um i didn't i wasn't thinking of black like that but mm -hmm. that's a beautiful way to put it i actually mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. yeah. but for me it's a it's a connection with my people you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. um no matter where you go whatever part of the world you go um and that, that's, that's my next point we're gonna be identified <laughs> as black yeah. right mm -hmm. and if do you I know go, why they do that if i go to what's that do, why they why they would much rather you brought up a point about how everywhere we go around the world, we're identified as black. Yeah. And I'm saying, do you know why they do that? Tell me, my brother. Mm -hmm. Like, j just guess. I want group, you to guess. group us all as slaves. Well, I already, I already mentioned it in terms mm -hmm. of um, that was the word, the Portuguese Latin um, origin of the word 
to describe somebody with melanin that, yeah. that's darker than what they're used to. Exactly. And I would say another way to describe the same situation is that black means you're not tied to a land. Right. You know, like if, if you say someone's gotcha. Chinese, you know exactly where they're from. Yeah, gotcha. You know, you know if you say they're Japanese, Italian, American, you mm -hmm. know exactly where they're from. Right. But mm -hmm. then to just call someone black, mm -hmm. you don't know. Yeah. You According know to yeah. their indoctrination. And back to what um, Kwaku was saying with, um, so when you use the term black, it doesn't tie you to um, a, a land. So you have no backing of, of like a country like most other cultures would. So if you call an Indian an Indian, you know where they're from, you know where their support comes from, and who the people are. You call me black, it's like, okay, where are you from? You still have to ask me where I'm from, right? Um, so I get that. Are most people like when think Africa? No, because Blacks are everywhere. black people come from everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. You want, I think some people do, that's a good point actually, yeah, I think some people do um, think Africa right mm -hmm. away. Um, do, but they, just don't be, they don't want to be offended. No, I don't have a problem with that. But I'm saying they wouldn't want to offend another person. So in a sense, they'd be like, where are you from? Right. As opposed to just saying Africa. We've been displaced so much that um, using black is not enough to describe where you're from. Mm -hmm. Unless you're... Yeah, like, why, do, why does that matter? What? I don't know it, why. It, it, I, to me, I don't it, think are we, we're, at, we, we're from everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, so, agreed. so I, I, I understand your point, and I think you're right, but I think that's a modern I think, like, thing, although it is a problem. <laughs> it poses the problem of, like, self-identity. Yeah. You know, like, I would say, like, blacks growing up in America, like, or just all over the world, like, yeah. um, right. There, there's a loss of connection to yeah. where they're truly there, from. There is, there is, there and is. And I agree with that, but to me... For me, it's a way to build a connection, right? Because no matter where you're from, and if you're black, um, you represent me and I represent, well, I would like to represent you, right? Mm -hmm. um, those are the type of people I want to make the connection with. Whether you're from Trinidad, Guyana, um, the Congo, uh, Jamaica, um, it's, for me, we can use it as a people to bond and, and unite. We could. If we have everybody on the same page. Yeah, but what after that? <laughs> what do you mean, what after that? Once we bond and then... We're united. bonding and we're uniting and, and, and then what? Yeah, we, we still need the land, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Where are we from? Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> solve that problem. <laughs> well, no, he was talking mean? about what we identify, identify yeah. as. I thought we are still on the land where we're from. No, no, I was just no, 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 no. He was just talking about the color black. Oh, so, so. You're, okay. I yeah, I would say oftentimes, like in in modern society, whenever there's conflict, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you're able, to, because most other nationalities yeah. are tied to a land, right. they have some sort of like backing from yeah. a country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas yeah. if you so say black, be more careful how they treat them. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. like yeah. if you say black, it's like who's gonna help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I guess that's where the unity comes in. Who's gonna help you? Well, we're gonna help us. Well, yeah, we gotta help ourselves. Yeah. I mean, yeah. shit, ain't nobody try to. And even if they, come on, man, we don't need band aids, right? So uh, we're looking for real solutions within, like, from from our from our crew. Mm. You know what I mean? I want to say crew. I'm talking about <laughs> our worldwide crew. <laughs> Not just that. We just that's four. We ain't gonna get anything done with just the four of us. If you yeah, man, we yeah. could. We <laughs> could. As long as the finance. Hey, all it takes is one. Hey, we won't be doing the podcast and we didn't think we couldn't get. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. right. But, but yeah, we do need. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We yeah. need, we need yeah. the whole crew. You feel me? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Um, that's true. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So yeah, so I like so back to our point. We <laughs> went all around. Yeah. I like the term because. It um I get to identify with all my people around the world mm -hmm. with that term. Yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah. Okay, I get that. I, hey, I can play devil's advocate. I play both sides. Right, as right, you right. guys haven't already known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like it nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dane actually made a good point. How everything comes out of the black. You know, yeah. and he spoke mm -hmm. about how like like there's just misconception. White people like to or people like to say sorry. But I mean, <laughs> people like to say what's the fastest. Uh, What's the fastest thing out there? They like to say the speed of light. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, as Dane said, like, what they don't realize Ooh, is darkness is right. are already there. Right. Oh, we turn off that yeah. light and we see. Always there. Always, always there. Yes, like yeah. And so, like, yeah, even though white could be, yeah, white is always in contrast to darkness. Mm -hmm. You right. know, darkness is always there first. And so, yes. 
think of it. When the sun comes up, outside may be bright, but when the sun goes down, it goes back to its original state. Yeah, light is the moon will come in as a small plate, but darkness is all around. Right. Oh, my nigga, what? So, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Just to say the same thing. Nigga, yeah. yeah. what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. As you can see, we like to go round and round. Um, so, I didn't want to mess this up. I was thinking about yeah. it, but I didn't want to mess it up. But I did forget well, the cool term up. for this phenomenon. Was where, um, if you. So, there's, there's local and non local. It, 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 so, this is uh, metaphysics. Okay. Right, so there's the there's local and non-local um, meaning. Um, meet, so there's this there's this um, finding where uh, they're looking at particles. They're still looking for this God particle. But when you go further down into atoms, um, they find that. I think he's trying to explain as above, so below. Mm. Not really. Mm. Not really. Yeah, this yeah, is, this is a, I know. I know as above, so below. But this is when uh, when they. Place when you place your attention on when you place your attention. So when you go into the atom, um, when you 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 go down into like the minute particles, quarks and stuff like that. When you place your attention, it's there. But yeah. When you take your attention away, it's not there anymore. Um, and I find that interesting because huh. um, that's how fast darkness moves. In, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I have a lot of back information on that that we don't have time to talk about right now. But that that goes to um, you know them being able to measure the speed of light. Um, but darkness is there. They are yeah, 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 yeah. And then when you take your attention away, it's wherever else you place your attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, that's some speed. Yeah. No, like just the well. Actually, yeah, I don't want to get too scientific, but. He was just bringing up a point about how um, they used to say the atom, you, the atom could not be divisible. Right. And so mm -hmm. Dane brought up a point about how not only do they know the atom is divisible, mm -hmm. but there's other things that they can see, like quartz, electrons, yes. protons. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and like when when they go to, down to the quark level, um, whoever's observing the object. Like, if all four of us are observing one yeah, item, yeah. it will look yeah. different to all four yeah, of us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and like, when we move, so, so will the, yeah, the, 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 the object. If, 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 yeah, it goes with your attention, uh, if your attention is there at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wherever your attention is. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's I like you imagine what we can do with our minds, right? And every time, and the, and the, see, they're, I said the, they're looking for, I don't know, did they find, because they built that superconductor thing looking for the God, the God particle, particle or something sure, like okay. that. Um, but according to other knowledge that I have, um, it doesn't matter how far down they try to go. They're always going to find the smallest. Yeah. They'll never mm -hmm. have the instruments mm -hmm. to find the smallest particle because there is no smallest particle. Now, back to the topic of black inventors. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about, so I'll mention Otis Boykin. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, he invented the pacemaker. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I did, did, yeah, I did see him. Yeah, Otis Boykin. Yeah. I didn't want to really mention shit that you could just Google. Oh, right. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But... Uh, so I did have the like, university a as, as another thing, but you know everyone knows about Timbuktu. Okay. Um, so no, always, not everyone. I don't. <laughs> no. No. Let's. Okay. Let's well, I'll take a step let, back. Let's, so, let's go into Timbuktu. Let's end <laughs> off on Timbuktu. Actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Otis Boy King uh, invented the pacemaker. He worked for IBM. Uh, he invented more than twenty-five electric devices, including mm. uh, air filters, burglar proof, uh, like the cash registers. Okay. Um, resistors mm -hmm. and missiles, control missiles. Okay, okay. like guided missiles. Guided, yes. Okay. He's responsible for, for all that. Um, and you want to go to university? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go there. Yeah, because if you uh, if you do a search again, um, looking for the oldest university, um, you're, you're not going to see Timbuktu. Um, no. Timbuktu is not the name of the university, but um, it's actually uh, Sankor, what is it, uh, Jingare Bur, and the uh, Sidi Yaha, three uh, mosques that they used in Timbuktu for teaching. Okay. That's considered the first uh, university, but not university in, in the common sense of it, like the modern sense of the word. Okay. Um, okay. Although it did influence um, all yeah. universities. Up to date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just just to add, Timbuktu yeah. is located in Mali, West Africa. 
Mm -hmm. um, Europeans got their inspiration for universities from this visiting this site, mm -hmm. and so um, th there was a guy. Uh, his name is his last name is Mensa. Right. People believed his wealth um, was vastly superior to like an Elon Musk of today, mm -hmm. or right. even yeah, okay. uh, Jeff Bezos. Mm -hmm. Or them add together. Exactly. So <laughs> the amount of wealth just from this one man, like, um, it's it's incomprehensible. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I messed that word up, but um, yeah, yeah, just like yeah, immeasurable. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Timbuktu was. Um, was the inspiration for most universities that we know today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We didn't know that. Yeah, and I guess we'll end up on, on one note, um, which is like like the first open heart surgery was conducted by an African American. Oh right. And uh okay. yeah he didn't go to school in the traditional sense. Yeah. Right. You know, and like um I I bring the, this point up because um the first person to ever have a PhD, um, so whatever, in the 1920s, four white men just like, they decided to, to create something called the PhD. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, the, the term PhD came from individuals who, like the first PhDs never, uh, there was no system in place for that. They just mm -hmm. made it up and gave themselves a degree. Okay. Yeah. You know, and now people are going to school paying so much just to get a PhD. So I, I bring it up because an African he uh, was who was the first to do open heart surgery had no yeah. Western education. And didn't they cover it up and say it was a white man that did it too? Yeah. yeah. Right. I think um, I, I think that's a good note because the majority, um, not the majority, but a lot of inventors didn't have formal education. I mean, some of some of the yeah, ones that we yes, mentioned, yeah, they, they yeah, did yeah. because, uh, you know, they worked for corporations like IBM and IBM right. and these places, so they did. But a lot of them, um, a lot of people, a lot of black inventors didn't have formal education because at the time they weren't even able to go to school yeah. um, or a university or college. To read. <clears throat> yeah, or even read, yeah. 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 But yet, um, yet they come up with stuff their masters couldn't and the masters were like, oh shit, let me take that. Yeah. <laughs> let me patent that man. <laughs> <laughs> But a lot of them didn't know about patenting before, probably back in those times Ooh, too. But like a lot of the, yeah, a lot of the black. I mean, even if they did, they, they wouldn't even allow it. What were they going to do about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the patent was created by whites. It's, yeah, that's just right. exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I was going to say that about the PhDs also. It's like they create systems um, to enable themselves to control, to steal and control. Yeah. And, you know, covers, you see right? museums yeah. all around the place that's yeah. proof of that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actual theft. <laughs> uh, yeah, actual. Yeah, and then we, and then we go the extra mile to pay <laughs> to, yeah. to pay to see the shit that they stole. That's crazy. That, that to me is even more fun. No, like, that's why I never go to a, a, a museum. Uh, I I have in the past, but I wouldn't today. I wouldn't go to any museum. Yeah, you bring so up I'm a not good gonna point. Pay for yeah. stolen yeah, to see yeah. stolen shit. Like yeah, in twenty what was it? In twenty eighteen, I went to France. Right. You know, everyone talks about the Louvre. Yes. And so I went there expecting to see French history. <laughs> and I was actually see? irate, you know, like I'm walking around like, yo, where's Mona, I'm looking for Mona Lisa actually, Right. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm trying to see what, I'm trying to see French culture, French history, Right. right and right. so I spent like, what, two, I spent two, the whole ball, as soon as you walk in, it's all African. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, am I in Europe or Africa? Say that about Europe too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what is, what is Europe going to show you? And, and so, <laughs> I, again, I was looking for Mona Lisa, but mm -hmm. I had to walk mm -hmm. through African history. Mm -hmm. Right. And so Mona Lisa, I believe she was on the third floor. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to walk the first and second floor. That was just pure African yeah. history, just yeah. all was, over. Was Mona Lisa by herself? Yeah, yeah Mona Lisa was by herself upstairs. <laughs> You know, I mean, like, bro, are they gonna show pictures of caves and shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm a friend again, but I'm bad. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, when you go to like museums over here in Toronto, um, you see the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I've been to I've been to a museum in Ottawa. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they got stuff over there. Yeah. So, I'd say most museums have a repository. They have an African section. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, museum. like the most famous museums in the world, like. Uh, the African section is everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 All the biggest ones. Yeah. yeah. It was just recently, I would say a few years back, is when I first saw 
when they people show me those, I guess it's the black Madonnas and this and that, I didn't know nothing much about it. Yeah. And then when I seen that picture with the Pope and then I started to learn, like, you know what I mean? Looking into it, it, was, it kind of shocked me to say, well, like, in Europe, these guys are praising black artifacts, like, like you know what I mean, like black statues, black, like, yeah. mm -hmm. I was lost. I love the word you use, artifacts, you know, right? if, if you break it up, art yeah. in fact, yeah. it, you yeah. know, and like, I was like a little lost, man. Yeah, like, just, <laughs> we're going to have a topic on religion, that, yeah. that's not yeah. something we're going to get into today. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is the third time these guys have mentioned religion, yeah. <laughs> just, no, the third, no, third time. <laughs> Since we started, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not today, but <laughs> I would say next week. But this is a very important month for us. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we can we can go on and on. Um, yeah. with black invent. We didn't. I don't even think we got through half our list. No. Um, no. but we don't want to drag it on too much. Um, you know, next week when we're continuing with the black history theme, um, we'll pull. We Some can, more, we can, we can yeah, mention, mention a few things. others. We should be doing that regardless. Every I mean, like, we, like we did discuss yeah, that we every did, week. Yeah. At least have one or two right to, to talk about well, right so like i said earlier i think um i think it's easy to find for people that want to find like, yeah want to yeah. know who the black black inventors are i think it's easy now, to find. now like, no yeah, yeah. yeah yeah um this conversation is i guess pretty much just to spark that search like yeah, uh, yeah just yeah. to try to make people interested like as you can tell we are not like and we've said this before we didn't like do Deep research and, and we're, we're not, you know, we're not, we have presentations to give people. It's just we look, we, we did, we did some research. Uh, we have stuff to present. We have our opinions on it, mm -hmm. and then it's just for the for you to go do something with it. Yeah. Or you know, be curious if you're curious enough. Dig some more. Yeah. yeah. I could have been wrong. And be careful what like when you when you do search. Sometimes you <laughs> gotta go a little deeper, man. Because I find it was something I wanted to bring up before about this guy named um, Andrew Jackson Beard, right? He's just mm -hmm. he's an inventor too. He invented basically, you know, the trains with the interlocking, like that interlocking connect system the trains. to connect right. the trains when they bounce into each other. He created that. But when I was pulling up on him to to research on him, a picture of a a white dude. You know what I mean? That looks similar to him. They just took away the features. His black right. features mm -hmm. popped up, and I was like, "This is deceiving, man!" Like you, you, you like how how would these people know who to look into? And on his profile, actually says he's an African American African, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So I, I was a little pissed with that because I was like, "Well, okay, you're showing this, but you're not showing the real person." Mm -hmm. But so you know what the real person? Looks I know what the real like. person looks oh, like. Everything's right. Been so so when I when I scroll to the picture, you can actually see from where they took his face. And just straighten his nose, right. same beard, right? Because he had a little long beard or whatever, same beard, and then put a hat on him and bleach his face. Oh, okay. Right? So, so it's deceiving. So, so I find so that. Jesus thing does it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> when you do these researches, you gotta search deep, though. You gotta, you yeah. gotta go. Right. I would say, yeah, like, don't even use the internet. It's um, hard, man. Wikipedia, uh, they yeah, every, everything has been taken off. Like, if you're trying, trying to find this stuff, maybe you have to go into the dark map or dark web. Mm -hmm. Or we also, where we get our information from, too, we should be able to put out something out there for you guys to search. You know what I mean? To say, like, where we would get our information from. Someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we read right. books, so, as you can see. Exactly. Um, you know, we on that tip. I don't yeah. know what that was, but yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, gonna, I was gonna actually say it out. Um, all right, never mind. Yeah. yeah, I would say from my experience, like I like I actually like buying books, but what mm -hmm. I've realized is that the good shit is pretty expensive, right? You but know, that, and, that's and, and, and you it's mean, a good deterrent to like, stop knowledge. You mean like mm -hmm. crack cocaine, like the good shit? No, like if if you want to get like, there's this book called like a con gold weights, right? Okay, it's or. Or like as an example, Harvard now sends a lot of their medical students to Africa to study plants. Right. You know, and like I thought they always did. Yeah, like oh, okay. it's something they always did. Yeah. And so, uh, what I'm trying to say is that, um, okay, as it relates to these books, the the good knowledge, um, like our predecessors in the '60s and '80s wrote in books, and right. the knowledge was there. And so, I would say people now going to Harvard, they have access to these books free of charge yeah. but like people like us who want to get the same books we have to pay thousands of dollars oh, okay, for gotcha. the same yeah, book yeah, and so yeah, it's yeah. very hard for just the average do joe to get like higher level of consciousness right mm -hmm. let me add something to that um because I, I i have an alternative of sorts i um 
you know, I support people reading books like these. Yeah. Uh, but I think I've learned the most, and I think what I've learned uh, most importantly comes from just listening to what tribes have to say. Um, and you'll see you'll see that popping up a lot more now, where you have people um, from like tribal Africa um, s speaking or like giving out their knowledge. Yeah. And I'll tell you, um, I learned more about astrology. And astronomy from these tribes than I've ever learned from Europeans and that goes that goes that says a lot um, that explains something like what well, you mentioned the, the the guy that did the heart surgery um, him being able to do it without a so-called PhD or formal education out of uh, Europe or, yeah. or European form of indoctrination as I would say um, it's because what they know is already put in a simple form like mathematics, for example, um, every number means something mm. in in in, um, in tribal Africa. I don't want to just say Africa because um, Africa is Europeanized for the most part. But if you listen to what tribal, what's coming out of tribes, um, uh, the ancient knowledge that's coming out of tribes, you'll understand what numbers mean as opposed to one just being one and two just being after one and three being after two and there was a reason you know the shapes what, right to yeah exactly like that, yeah. Shapes and um, numbers yeah you learn a lot like you learn stuff like like everything has a shape for example mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. just physical objects but but objects like social interaction has a shape mm -hmm. um leadership has a shape like these these ideas and these phenomena they all have shapes like you learn stuff like that and i think that's much more important than um, reading and the, the only problem I have with books not all books but most books is that a lot of this stuff comes out of the, 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 the yeah. European system yeah. and I think a lot of it could be misleading but the stuff I the stuff I know outside of that seems to be the purest and most simple thing that I know and when I when I match the two I'm always leaning towards yeah, because it makes right. more sense, it's more understandable, and, and it doesn't contradict with anything else. Everything, nothing contradicts, like astrology, mathematics, um, uh, physics, like all this stuff, like nothing contradicts each other, right? Which is always a problem that I had with um, the European uh, religion, science. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many, con like, Science and religion alone, there's so many contradictions between the two that I was like, come on, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I was talking yeah, about. It's like, come, so God created the world, and then you're studying what God created, but the two doesn't go together so, yeah. Yeah. in any way. Like, that doesn't make sense to me, right? So, I don't know, that's just my two, my, my two cents mm -hmm. on that. Yes, uh, right. yeah. That's why I was talking about information when I said, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like to better know, like sometimes you can get deceived by whatever the internet yeah. can show you. Right. And yeah. by getting information out there to people, you could better look, search, and. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, yeah but that ups to, that's up to you, though, right? Um, yeah. Like, like pose the questions. There's right? a lot of different sources, so. Mm -hmm. um, that's the problem. I wouldn't say. Well, is that a problem? I don't believe because anyone. <laughs> that's the problem. That's, that's the problem right there, right? It's, um, yeah, it's cool. Because people choose something and then that's it. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah, um, there's a danger in that. Yeah. Yeah, you have to cross reference information, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. No doubt about that. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And um, with that said, yeah, listen, um, we had another live one today. We had some te technical difficulties. We'll try to, you know, iron those out in the, in the editing process. Yeah. Um, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this show. Um, we got at least two or three more dealing with, um, um, we're in the month of Black History, so we're going to yeah. have at least two more. Yeah. Um, talking about some on black history yeah. and um if you've stayed on this long thank you for watching we're coming back stronger next week all right we out peace peace